Everyone has different opinions when it comes to Pokemon. No matter who you talk to, they'll have a favorite type, a favorite battle, a favorite theme, a favorite region. The list could go on and on on what people could disagree and agree on when it comes to Pokemon. Today, I wanted to share with you guys how I personally rank the regions from least favorite to favorite. Please keep in mind that these are my personal opinions. I'm not trying to persuade you to change your favorites to match mine. I'm only trying to share my feelings on the different Pokemon regions. So, number 8 on this list, my least favorite region of all time, is the Hoenn region. For some reason, I just never had fun playing any of the three entries as a kid, and I really wasn't impressed by Oros. To be fair, I wasn't always a huge fan of the Game Boy Advance, and the music did always give me a headache, so that probably impacted my thoughts on the region as a whole. On top of that, all five mainline games that came out for the console are some of my least favorite and least played Pokemon games of all time. Since I had a hard time getting into Sapphire, Ruby, and Emerald, it stopped me from playing Pokemon for a long time. Playing them felt like a chore since I had always considered myself a huge Pokemon fan. Oris didn't really do it for me either, since it was the same region I really didn't enjoy as a kid and they took out all of the customizable elements from X and Y. That being said, I still think I'd rather play Oros than any of the originals. Despite me not really enjoying the Hoenn region, I think the Pokemon from the Hoenn region are fantastic and some of the best ones we've ever received. The Hoenn anime is also one of my favorite arcs. The only reason Hoenn is at the bottom of this list is because I genuinely do not enjoy any of the Hoenn games. My second least favorite region is Galar, but I do think that they really improved upon it with the DLC and I think it's going to get better with Crown Tundra. I won't go into details as to why I'm not crazy about Sword and Shield, as I already made a video covering why I didn't like the games, which I will link below for you to watch at the end of the video, but a brief summary of why I wasn't crazy about them is that the region just felt really empty to me. Once you beat the game, there's nothing left to do but raids and shiny hunting, and the YCOM literally just doesn't work at all. As I said before, I really enjoy Isle of Armor, and I think Crown Tundra is going to improve the game even more. I do think once Crown Tundra comes up, I will enjoy the region so much more that it might bump it higher on the list. But until we get both of the DLC and I can play them both, the Galar region is going to have to stay my second least favorite region. If I raised it based on hopes, then the game would have been number two based on the teasers alone. Before these games came out, I found myself really standing up for these games, but overall they've just been a disappointment. Okay, I'm done disappointing you guys. Number six on my list is Alola. I freaking loved Sun and Moon when it came out. I thought it had an amazing storyline, really in-depth characters, and was all around a great Pokemon experience. Then Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon came out, and I had to replay the entire game over again with hardly any differences to the original and complete the Pokedex again for the second time just to shiny hunt in the wormholes. I know you don't have to complete the Pokedex to shiny hunt in the wormholes, but I wanted to get the shiny charm before I did that. The wormholes were really the only redeeming factor for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I know most of the third entries don't differ too much from the original two that get released when it comes to Pokemon, however, Sun and Moon was so handholdy and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon were no different. It was really hard to play through the same region again with the same handholdy nonsense, as if we didn't just do this a year prior. I know Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon aren't carbon copies of the originals, but they're close enough to being the same game that it was upsetting, so I'm really glad Pokemon has decided to do DLC to fix Sword and Shield instead of making us buy another copy. I do think that they should have bundled it for people who bought both Sword and Shield, and it wasn't another $60 if you wanted to play it on both games, but I still prefer this to having to buy a whole nother game. I don't by any means hate the Alola region, I'm just salty that they made us play through it twice with hardly any differences. Number 5 on this list is the Unova region. Pokemon Black and White are some of my favorite games of all time. The story and the characters are unmatched, however, I cannot say the same about Black and White 2. I know this is a really controversial opinion to have, as Black and White 2 are some of the most beloved games in the whole franchise. However, I just could not get into them for some reason. I never understood why Hugh put so much importance on you helping him find the purloin for his sister when like it's his and her problem and not really your problem. Not that I wouldn't immediately help my friend if they had a problem like this, it just felt so forced at the beginning of Black and White 2 that I just didn't really care to do it. Hugh's little sister doesn't even have her own sprite, she just has the generic little girl sprite used throughout the game. Currently, I'm hunting Oshawa on Black and White 2 because I think having a shiny starter will really encourage me to play through the entire game, but until then, it's gonna remain number 5 on my list. It also doesn't help that the Unova region has one of the worst anime arcs 
ever. The anime that they made for the Unova region is the only one I've never finished because it was just too boring for me to finish. That being said, I do absolutely love the Unova region. I just wish that I was more interested in playing Black and White 2 and that the anime was a little bit stronger. Also, Hilda and Rosa are two of the best designed Poke Girls ever and I absolutely love them. They're so cute. Number four on my list is Kanto. I'm just a little tired of Kanto at this point. We've been able to play through Kanto in Gen 1, 2, 3, 4, and 7, and I'm just kind of tired of it. Kanto holds so much nostalgia for me, specifically the anime, and overall it's a solid region. What I really love about Kanto is that it feels small and quaint. It just does a really good job of making me feel like a kid on an adventure. When I'm playing through Kanto, I get the same kind of nostalgic feeling I get when I'm playing Earthbound. Not because I grew up with it, but because as a kid I dreamed of going on adventures like you do in these two games. It's a nostalgia for something I never even did. I recently clocked 500 hours into Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, so I definitely don't hate Kanto. I just wish other regions would be shown more love like the ones higher on this list. Also, this is just a me problem, but I really wish the Let's Go games had a day and night cycle. It would have been so much fun to experience what Kanto looked like at night with the beautiful graphics from the Let's Go games. Alright guys, we're getting down to my favorite regions here. My third favorite region is the Kalos region. Kalos was the best region on the 3DS in my opinion. It was our first time experiencing a main series Pokemon game in 3D graphics and it was just an amazing experience. Lysander posed a genuine threat to humanity that was so close to succeeding that it was actually a little bit scary. This game also came out at the perfect time for me. I did my first year of college at the New York School of Visual Arts and I commuted every day from Connecticut. I had an hour and a half train ride to and from school, which was the perfect opportunity for me to play a bunch of video games. I played so much X and Y that year and it was what got me into shiny hunting. At the time, I was also very into building competitive teams, which is something that I've lost interest in now, but it was fun at the time. Along with that, all my classmates were also nerdy art students, so we all played the game together. On another note, the anime was the best one in my opinion. All of the characters have personal growth, especially Serena. It was also amazing to see Ash and his Greninja's bond get so strong that they were able to use their own form of mega evolution causing Greninja to turn into Ash Greninja. Overall, I just think Kalos is an absolutely stellar region and it doesn't get the praise that it deserves. My second favorite Pokemon region, number two on this list, is Johto. Johto is definitely the region that I have the most nostalgia for. I may have started my journey with Pokemon Red, but the game I played to death as a kid was Pokemon Crystal. I was so excited to play as a girl for the first time during my Pokemon adventures. I was also obsessed with the newly added day and night cycles, they really made the region feel so alive to me. To this day, the moment I hear Azalea Town's theme, I feel all warm and fuzzy and I know I'm home. HeartGold and SoulSilver are also some of the best Pokemon games to date. The DS's aesthetics with Johto's beautiful landscape gives me butterflies. It was also so much fun to return to the region that I played so much as a kid and get to experience it again years later but with significant improvements. I don't really have much else to say about Johto other than I absolutely love it. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm sure you've used your deductive reasoning skills to figure out that my favorite region is... Sinnoh! The Sinnoh region is my absolute favorite region in the Pokemon world so far. There are so many reasons as to why I love the Sinnoh region. It has amazing music, great Pokemon, and one of the best stories. I felt like Cyrus was a real threat, and I didn't even fully disagree with his motives. To me, he felt the most real out of all the villains up to that point. Before Pokemon Diamond and Pearl were released, I was starting to lose interest in the games as I didn't find the Hoenn games to be all that fun, but I decided to give Diamond and Pearl a try. I pre-ordered the games at my local KB Toys and picked it up first thing in the morning on April 22nd, 2007. I was really excited because I was still a huge fan of Gen 1 and 2, and I occasionally dabbled in Fire Red and Leaf Green despite disliking the console they were on. I was immediately hooked, and later on loved Platinum even more. Platinum to this day is my favorite Pokemon game, making the Sinnoh region my favorite in the Pokemon world. I love the different terrain and weather, and that they have rural areas but still have big cities. It reminds me a lot of where I grew up. So yeah, there you have it. That is my opinion on every single Pokemon region, from my least favorite to my favorite. Even if you didn't agree with my opinions, I do hope that you still enjoyed this video. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon content, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!